Welcome back. While many are waiting for the COVID vaccine, one population is not able to even get in line. Children. Our Alex Tejada spoke with a doctor at Mayo Clinic to help explain what the future holds for children when it comes to vaccination. More than 318 children have died. Uh, children need safe and effective vaccines. Right now, the Moderna vaccine is only recommended for those 18 and older. Pfizer, 16 and older. But trials on children 12 and up began late last year. That might lead to us having approval to use a vaccine uh, in children 12 through 15 uh, by early fall. With so many waiting in line, some still don't trust the vaccine. They point to cases where people have died shortly after receiving a dose, including instances here in Minnesota. There is no evidence to suggest that any of those deaths were vaccine related. Dr. Jacobson has seen those claims before. Even before the COVID-19 vaccine was going out in Rochester, anti-vaccine billboards in the Med City warned of the supposed dangers and risk of death after receiving one. In one case, the baby is known to and was determined by the coroner to die from overlying syndrome. In addition to debunking myths, he also assured people that many trials are done before a vaccine is authorized for emergency use and ongoing monitoring of the vaccine continues. It's actually far safer than the prescription drugs that we use from day to day. Uh, the other drugs that we use in our lives uh, like vitamins or minerals. The Food and Drug Administration is not relaxing or cutting corners on the data it demands. While he says the vaccine is nothing to worry about, there are concerning trends across the state. Over the past month, northwest Minnesota and south central Minnesota have begun experiencing an in key increase in case growth. To fight that and keep kids safe while in-person learning, MDH staff has a new recommendation for school-aged children. We're asking families to get tested every two weeks from now until the end of the school year. In Rochester, Alex Tejada, Fox 47 News.